Hi, I'm Victoria Hargis, and I am a mother of a child who died from a terminal illness. You might remember a little of my story in previous videos. My son was diagnosed at three and a half with a terminal illness. And for the next 10 years, we did everything we could to help him survive and to live as abundantly and fully as he possibly could. That wasn't to be. But that isn't even what my story is about today or my conversation is about today. I want to talk about my youngest, oldest, my eldest son, Doug. He was seven when Davy was diagnosed. And for many, many years, he carried guilt, believing that he was responsible for his brother's injury and subsequent illness. It is true that the syndrome that Davy was diagnosed with can be caused by a blow to the head. And it is true that my young sons were playing in the backyard where my eldest dog tried to help my youngest Davy climb the fence by putting a two by four leaning against it. And that two by four did fall and knock Davy in the head. But there was no sign of injury. And there was no, in my mind, never blame assigned to my eldest son, Doug. But in his mind, there was. And because I couldn't get him to talk about that, he carried that guilt for many, many years. It is so important that the siblings of the child that is diagnosed with a terminal illness be giving the space and the freedom to talk about what they're feeling. Because even if it is a cancer diagnosis or any other life-threatening illness, siblings often feel like they are responsible for that illness. Whether it's because they thought or whether they were angry with their sibling and then all of a sudden the diagnosis happened. Whatever the reason, we need, I needed to allow my son the time to talk and express what he was feeling during that entire 10 year period and afterwards. I'd like to continue the conversation with you. So please leave your comments below and or videotape a, a response to it so we can continue the conversation. My Facebook page is Living Abundantly with Loss and I will put that URL in the box below or in the information below. I'd love to connect with you and hear more about your journey and your story. Again, as Davey reminded me so many times, don't live your life in regret, but take, take action to live authentically today and every day. Thank you. I am, I'm Victoria Hargis.